Hi guys, JC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> this week's feature comes to us from Churchill, so that must only mean one thing. Yep, it is time once again for the Matt Win Stakes. <laughs> guys, this here is race 10 from Churchill, set for a mile and 16th on the main track. It is restricted to just 3 year olds and carries a big purse of $150,000. So, let's get started right away, but... Before we get started, I'm sure most of you guys already know this by now, but I got your, you know, your Triple Crown schedule for you. Um, let's switch it all up in case, you know, you guys didn't hear. Um, Belmont is running on June 20th. It, it reduced the race from a mile and a half down to a mile and an eighth. And, of course, you know, there's going to be no, no fans, but no worries there. Um, <laughs> then, of course, you know, your Derby is going to be September 5th, and the Preakness is going to be run on October 3rd. So, with that being said, let's move along to the Matt Wynn, shall we? <laughs> Guys, I am liking Maxfield to win this one. You know, to me, there was just not too much thought that I had to go into picking the winner for this one. Sure, you know, Maxfield's been on quite the layoff. He hasn't ran since last October. However, I do love that last race. This horse, well, actually, you know, I love both those races, if you think about it, because... Uh, both of his stars, he's come from 9 and 10 down. You know, he can, um, he falls behind right away. You know, he's slow to start. That's what, that's what I was trying to say, slow to start. Uh, but he makes quite the comeback, you know. Last time out, he, he came from 9 down and blew him away by over 5. You know, the first time out, he closed from 10 down and got a Vic. And he also improved, you know. He barely won his first start. Last time out, he won by over 5. So, he should improve again, you know. What can I say? There's not much to, to debate on this one. Maxfield's got to be your winner on Saturday. <laughs> Guys, moving right along. I'm like a major fed to run up second. Uh, he is just similar to Max Fed where he came from 14 down last time out. Looked like he didn't stay in the chance. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he come up. He finished fourth, though. But nonetheless, that was a huge effort. I think it was a great effort. And so, you know... Other than that, he's, uh, you know, he's more of a soccer type, you know, he's hanging around the pace, waiting around to make his move, and then he, then he comes up out of nowhere, but uh, running back to his last time out, he had Joel Rosario up, and Joel Rosario's up again, so if you want to, you can throw Max Fan in your exotics, and all kinds of good stuff with him, <laughs> and finally running out your top three, I'm like a pneumatic, you know, this horse is trying to get ranked in his first stakes victory, and I do think it will happen on Saturday. Um, I like, you know, last time out, or excuse me, not last time out, first time out, he ran at six furlongs, and he won by just neck. Last time out, he raced at a mile, and he won by a much bigger margin. So, I'm thinking that horse is improving between those two races. He's just going to improve again. <laughs> and, you know, so I'm looking for this horse to probably suck, hang around the pace, try to make his move. But I feel like these other two, Maxfield and Major Fed, are probably going to be just a little bit too much for him. But nonetheless, I got new Maddox running third for you. And, guys, the JC Upset Special shakes some action. <laughs> guys, I've said before, I'll say it again. If you like what you see, and I know that you do, please click subscribe, ring the bell, so you never, ever miss a video. Pass it down some other way to somebody who's going to like what they see. So they can click and ring. And they'll never ever miss a video. And as always, if you want to read all about it, join me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. And I'll catch you next week. Bye.